What's up, Alien? It's your boy Dar Sloffo. I'm just back here giving a tutorial on Cheat Engine using Slime Rancher 2 as an example. Alright. So, I've got my Cheat Engine open. I'm going to select my Slime Rancher 2 for my operation. Open it up. Go back to my game. Resume. I've already got some floats in my gun. Down at the bottom right hand corner, lots of dollars. 9999441000. I don't even need to remember it. 9999441000. I'm going to click on first scan. It's going to come up with a bunch of numbers. I uh, don't know which numbers to use. Right. I'm going to jump back to the game. Going to fire one in. Oh, now I've got an eight. I'm going to jump back to cheat engine. I'm going to replace the zero with the next value, the new value, eight. Click on next scan. Sometimes you might have to do it a, more than once. Sometimes you might have to. Right, so now it's 4416. 116. Next scan. Right, and these are my two values. I just double clicked on them. Alright. Alright, come down to here. And I want to change the value. I'll, I'll drop it down. I'll take off the 6. Click OK. That one changed as well at the same time, so I don't really need to change it, but just in case, I'll click on OK, just to make sure. Minimise that, back to the game, and oh look! See how it changes? Back. Let's drop off two numbers. OK. Now I'm down to just... 999,944 yeah. it's, it's that easy It's literally that easy to change value What's the max value we can get? Let's change the 1 to a 9999 Try that Okay but that's how easy it is to change the, um, the hex values in, in, in games. So now that I look, I can't add any more. So I don't necessarily want to be doing that. So let's just take away two numbers. Drop it down to a little bit less. Say for instance if I wanted to change how many plorts I had, I've got 19 down in the bottom. That's a number that can be changed. So, I'll just type in 19. New scan. First scan. Oh, look at that. A huge bunch of 19s. There's quite a lot of number 19 within this game. Okay. Now I'm down to 18. Go back. Next scan. 18. Go back. 17. Do we see a 17? Oh yep, yeah, we see a 17 floating around over here, but it's up and down, left and right. So next scan. Oh look at that. We're getting less and less. What it's doing every time I'm doing a new scan is it's identifying which particular um, hexadecimal value is being changed. And of course, there are a lot of 19s within one game, so it's changing, it's, uh, it's giving me less and less every time I do it. 16. 16 down there, but I just want to make sure. So, next scan. Voila. There it is. Click on that one, change it, 
to swing to. Okay. Let's see if that works. Didn't look like it worked. But did you see how it went from 16 to 19? Sometimes it doesn't work straight away. Sometimes you have to give it an extra bit of a right. And it and it's a little bit so. How about if we change that 18 to an 18? We'll see if I can break the game. <laughs> Oh look at that, 79. <laughs> Could get up to that point. But I mean, when you start cooking out the money like that. Here I am at the refinery, and I just want to change how many cotton plorts I've got. Well, pink plort, I'll do it for the cotton plort, okay? So, alt tab, 131. New scan, first scan, 131 pops up, jump over here, fire one, so we come back over to cheat engine, add in a two, next scan, have a look, there's more, add back, fire one more, check the value, 133, alt tab, and look at that. It's probably going to be that one right there, down at the bottom. Next scan, voila, and there it is. It's that one. Double click, drops down below, change the value. I'm assuming only three values, so let's say 999. Smash that enter, alt tab, escape out of here. Can't add anymore because it's at its max 999. That's how easy it is to change it. Let's drive on the tabby port. So, how much have we got in the tabby ports? 33. Come back over. New scan. 33. First scan. Lots of 33s. Go back. Add one, check the value, it's up to 34, alt tab, 34, new scan, go back, escape, fire another claw, check the value, 35, go back, change it, 35, next scan, go back, escape, rinse and repeat, 36, new scan, 36, next scan, down, escape, check it again, F, 37, next scan, getting lower and lower each and every time, should be on 38, yep. Rinse and repeat. 39. Seem to be having a little bit of trouble. Let's just let's just add two instead. 40, 41. Alt tab. 41, just 39 plus this, 41. I seem to be getting a lot of hexadecimal values. Which one is it? How do I know? I'm not really too sure. 41. So, sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't work. But if I have a look down here, all the values have changed to 42. We'll do one more.
43. Okay. 43. Hit scan. I don't know. Which one is it going to be? Judging by this number here. 1 E C C C D B 8 5 2 8. I'm seeing something very similar right here. I'm going to assume that it's going to be that number. I'm going to take that one as a guess. I'm going to double click on that one. 999. Okay. Tab. Escape. What a guess. That is how you use Cheat Engine. Very, very easy to use it. Snap those fingers, stretch the feet back, and relax. As the game has just become lots less grindier. And now to the point where I don't need to worry about quite a lot. That's how you use Cheat Engine. You see how I identified the number, found it, and then changed it? That's how easy it is. That's how easy it is to use Cheat Engine. So, right. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you in the next vid. Peace out. Thanks, aliens.